Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. Tonight, we're going to talk about cancel culture being enforced by assholes. It is, so stick around and listen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, cancel culture is enforced by assholes. Let me let me uh, listen to my thesis while I unpack it for you, ladies and gentlemen. I think about it, you know, I mean, people have often made the um, comparison between um, today's cancel culture and what happened um, under communist regimes of, say, Stalin, when people got cancelled or disappeared or show trialed or what happened to people in, um, you know, like Mao's China under the Cultural Revolution where they were publicly shamed. There obviously is clear parallels. But I'll tell you the main difference, ladies and gentlemen, here in the West, it's voluntary. Nobody is forced to do it. No one is forced to do it. There, I mean, I guess, you know, I mean, the government sort of might encourage the cancelling of certain views or certain people, but there's no actual yet, like, you know, Ministry of Truth thought police who are actually arresting people. I mean, I guess there is in the UK, some people are being arrested for certain memes they might post or certain posts on social media. But mainly, cancel culture is enforced by people voluntarily, usually on the woke left. And they're all assholes, ladies and gentlemen. Because think about it, what are they trying to do? When they cancel you, they want to basically destroy your life. They want to remove your job. They want to stop your, you know, your ambitions, your hopes and dreams. They want to destroy it. And they think there are no consequences for that. They think that this, this, you know, this is fine. They should just get away with it. And it's, it's because they have this kind of belief, is kind of um, belief in a kind of woke utopianism, that if everybody just goes along with the kind of progressive PC views and that they shut up the people who, you know, who don't hold these views, suddenly will be born into this kind of lovely kind of woke utopia. So first of all, you should re remember, be wary of utopians, ladies and gentlemen, particularly the left woke types. So, you know, it, it's all voluntary and I think it makes it, um, the people who are behind it, Bigger assholes than the people who were under communism. Obviously, the people who, um, you know, like enforced, uh, who invented the rules under you know, Mao and, and Stalin, they were bigger assholes because they were like forcing it, um, you know, through literal physical violence. But, you know, but the people had to go along with it in communist countries because it was sort of the law, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I mean? Or they themselves would be thrown into a gulag or a concentration camp. But here, everyone cancels people, um, you know, because it, they voluntarily want to go along with the agenda. And what's interesting, too, is you occasionally meet people, right-wingers or people who just believe in liberty and freedom, who don't want to go along with it. They don't. And they might run an event or a festival, like I run the Melbourne Underground Film Festival. I don't care what your politics are. You can enter my festival. I don't care whether you're left, right, whatever. I'll play anything as long as it's interesting. That's it. It's just got to be interesting. So occasionally you find people who run events uh, and they don't believe in cancer culture. And, and when someone complains to them and says, oh, you know, this person said that, this person said this, they say, well, I, I don't care. You know, I'm reminded of my friend Spiro, who used to run EarthCore. I got cancelled, I don't know, about six years ago over some comment I made about the LGBT community, right? And, and I was going to EarthCore, which was run by my friend Spiro, um, you know, a week afterwards. And even I rang him up and said, look, Spiro, I, I've I kind of put my foot in it. I probably shouldn't do my, my event there because I was going to be a public event over his two or three day festival every day. I thought, you know, it might upset people. I know he was getting complaints. He says, no, definitely, come and do it. He says, I've, I've been getting calls. I've had about 20 calls about you. He says, but you know what I've been doing? He says, I've been taking the calls myself. He says, put them through. Oh, you don't like Richard, eh? Well, how about this? Get fucked. He's an old friend of mine. Piss off. <laughs> Click. That was it, ladies and gentlemen. And that is how you defeat cancel culture. You just tell the people who are trying to do it to go fuck themselves, which is exactly what you should tell them, because we're sick of this, because it will end up in the communist version of uh, uh, what you had under Mao and the Cultural Revolution and what you had under Stalin. It will end up that way eventually if we continue to go along with it, but at the moment, it's voluntary and it's just run by fucking assholes. So tell them to get fucked.